especially thank the board members of the Delaware, Lahore, Delhi uh, uh, non-governmental organization for taking up this cause. Uh, South Asia and U.S. relations with India in particular and, and Pakistan particularly, even though they are very critical, they are rarely understood in the public level. For example, U.S. relations with Iran are widely discussed in the media and public forums. But for some reason, the U.S. role in South Asia and U.S. relations with these two important countries of India and Pakistan are not that often discussed in the public sphere. Uh, it is surprising to me, for example, in this year, in 2012, the biggest recipient of U.S. foreign aid for the first time since 1979 is not Israel, but Pakistan. So Pakistan is going to get $4 billion from us at a time when we don't have money to pay for our own schools here in Delaware. So it's a very critical issue, and it's important that the Americans pay attention to what is going on in the region and in relations between the U.S. and the South Asian region. April is designated as the Asian American Awareness Month. And the irony of it is that there is very little awareness of the fact that Asian Awareness Month is April, which I find rather amusing. But it's a good thing in a way because there's not much to worry about Asian Americans. And that is why it's not that much attention is paid to the fact that we need to create awareness of Asian Americans. So, so my talk today is going to be skewed by that fact. So I'm going to talk a little bit about South Asian Americans, those who are from here, and then talk about it in the context of relations between India and Pakistan, and the US role in India and Pakistan. I'm going to start by asking a few questions from the audience. I'm going to show you some pictures. I'm going to ask if you can identify who these individuals are. If you can identify the individual, I'll give you a book. <laughs> and if you can tell me something about that individual, then I will also give you a Kit Kat. <laughs> and let me tell you, they're fresh. They're not from last year's Halloween. <laughs> I just bought them on the way. <laughs> so, so, so I'm going to show you some pictures. It's like saying, suppose I show you a picture of Obama, and you can say, oh, that is Obama. He won the Nobel Prize. So God knows what reason, but he did. You know, something like that, then you can earn a Kit Kat. Okay, let's let's go. Okay, this is the book you get. Who is this guy? I can give you a clue. He was he was raised in this area. He grew up in the Delaware Valley area. He's very famous, and he does all his work in this area. Shaman. 